Hello, everybody. What's going on? It's your boy, Loshi Love You here, and I am back once again with my main man, T Man. T Man, what's up? What's up, guys? And we're here to bring you a team builder, and this team builder will consist of us building a team to try to beat uh, probably one of the most established teams in the NBL, right? Uh, with um, Team uh, Dreamball. You know, they won last year, and. Um, they're pretty established VGC players as well, Marcus and Wolfie. You guys know Wolfie. He won Worlds last year, and Marcus, I believe, top four that year as well. You know, they have multiple accolades in uh, VGC. You know, they're great double players, and um, this is going to be a hard week for us. Yeah, I think that uh, even though their five and three record isn't as impressive as uh, we would have like expected to see from them, I still think that's uh, no reason to underestimate them. I th I think yeah. that they're probably. Uh, one of the two uh, most threatening teams in the league, the other one being probably Team Jamie. So uh, I think this is going to be an extremely hard matchup this week, and uh, we're going to have to do some pretty good prep, but I think we have some pretty good prep. Yeah, um, I know me and Tommy were pretty anxious to play these guys, you know, in this upcoming week, and uh, the prep went really well, I could say. Um, I know This is going to be like the first time we actually bring Mons that we haven't brought this, um, you know, this season with... Uh, Oricorio as our first one, right? Yeah. So, uh, Oricorio is the uh, Fly MZ set with Hurricane Revelation, Dance with Tom Pass, and Protect. And uh, the whole thing that we're going to be trying to do here is uh, we have the uh, Feramosa Oricorio combination, which is what everyone's waiting to see from the Oricorio here. Uh, you go for Quiver Dance, then Dancer activates, and Oricorio also gets Quiver Dance boost. The big thing that uh, we're going to be able to do here, though, is take the. A uh, boost we get off of the uh, Dancer Quiver Dances, and uh, hopefully Baton pass them out to Venusaur, since uh, Venusaur has a really, really good matchup against their team. I think it's one of our uh, strongest mons this week, so if we're able to pass a Quiver Dance boost or two off to the Venusaur, I think we'll be in a very, very good spot. This week, I actually feel very comfortable uh, finally bringing, um, well, utilizing this uh, method, because I think against their team, that if we take out certain threats, Venusaur with the boost will be able to sponge, you know, and also do damage and just sit there for the remainder of the game. And I think, um, yeah, like like I said, with I'm playing this team especially, I think that's a gr pretty good method going forward. Yeah, the only thing that really threatens the Venusaur if we're going to be setting up like that is the Bronzong. So uh, in a matchup where Landers like wouldn't be uh, as strong overall, I think that uh, having uh, you know, the Intimidate to help Venusaur out to protect from Bronzong. We also have uh, the double fire typing to uh, potentially take that out, even through something like Heat Proof. So uh, we have a lot of uh, options to deal with that, and then hopefully we just have Venusaur take over the rest of the game from there. Mm -hmm. The second mon, I mean the third mon we have is Darn. Yeah. Yeah. Mon well, we usually run the Choice Car set, but this week we decided to run the Life Orb. Reason being, uh, from what I expect them to, like, honestly utilize the, like, the Finny Drift Bloom, in a sense, and they have the Tailwind option with, like, you know, uh, Drift Bloom and also the uh, Zapdos, I believe. And, like, running a Choice Car is probably probably going to be hindrance to us because we're, we're going to want to, like, waste um, Tailwind turns if need be. And having the Protect on Darm is pretty safe this week, honestly. Yeah, I just uh, noticed a mistake in the, the team builder. The one thing that's different is we actually are running uh, Swagger and Ninetales because uh, Ninetales can't learn uh, Reflect with the combination of moves we have. But Swagger is actually something pretty good for the Life Orb Darn Manitan since uh, they have Tapu Fini with Misty Terrain. So if we're able to uh, Swagger our Darn Manitan in Misty Terrain in the sun, uh, Flare Blitz in sun with a Life Orb boost, a Shear Force boost, all the boosts, uh, we'll actually KO pretty much anything on their team. I'm pretty sure it KOs uh, everything, including the Feeny. Like, at plus two, Flare Blitz in the Sun will definitely KO uh, Tapu Feeny. The only thing that won't KO, of course, is the, the Heatran because of uh, Flash Fire. But, uh, yeah, Darm can just, like, punch holes to the team with a Life Orb. Uh, the Jolly near max speed is going to outspeed most of the things on their team anyways. And uh, if it wasn't going to be outspeeding them, it's likely because they're in Tailwind or they have a Scarf of their own on something faster. So, like I said, the Scarf really doesn't matter as much this week. And uh, Life Orb has some pretty cool utility this week. Especially because uh, Protect is just really good for the Marn as well. Uh, helps keep Darm on the field a lot longer. Yes. Um, 
And the fourth mod that we have here, uh, I see Blastoise on my side. Do you see Blastoise? Yeah, there's a Blastoise, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we decided that um, these are one of the mods that we probably not going to bring into the matchup. Um, reason being that the other six mods that we want to bring are going to be very beneficial in the matchup. I mean, Blastoise is good, but it's not doing as much as we want it to do. Am I right? Yeah, like you were telling, like we were going back and forth whether or not we wanted to bring Blastoise or Landris, and it just came down to which one was going to help us deal with the Bronzong more. And while Blastoise can follow me and redirect attacks from the Bronzong, which is really, really strong, uh, Venus or Blastoise really can't take out uh, Bronzong while it's on the field. It kind of just sits there. Whereas Landris can go for Smackdown, uh, take away Levitate, and then just go for Earth Power, doing some pretty big damage to it. So uh, both of them like help against Bronzong in their own way. It's just that uh, Landers is more of a proactive threat to Bronzong, and hopefully we should be able to utilize that. And yes, uh, then we have our Faramosa, who will be helping us get these boosts with our Aragoria with the Quiver Dance, Ice Beam, Bug Buzz, you know, uh, 252, uh, 252 for uh, EV spread, you know, something basic. But I think that... Uh, we're, um, we're utilizing Mosa just to really set up boost and uh, kind of sweep with the left side with Oricorio, Venusaur, and whatever Mon we decide to bring in the back. Mm -hmm. Whether it being, uh, I'm, I believe we had uh, Blastoise or. We're planning on bringing Darm, but we could definitely bring Blastoise depending Blastoise. on how Team Preview looks. Yeah. And I know Fermos is just here for boost. Uh, we need the Sash. We, we really do need the Sash to guarantee, I think, one, at least one Clover Dance. Yeah, just Awful, in case they have, if they uh, do yeah. Lead the Finny Drift, if they do lead Finny Drift Bloom, they have the potential to actually outspeed our Pheromos and KO it. So with having the Sash, we can guarantee that we will get a, a, a definite boost that um, turn one if we decide to lead uh, Mosa and Oricoria. Yeah, and the only thing that I was a little bit afraid of is uh, fighting type moves are actually like really, really strong against their team. They have Scrafty, they have Heatran, there's a lot of things that the fighting type moves hit. But uh, we should be able to beat a majority of the team without having the fighting type move, and I think that uh, having Bug Buzz and Ice Beam is probably just better overall. The main reason being is because uh, if we're gonna run a fighting move, we either have to run mixed, and you'd have you know like a low kick that's really just not gonna be doing too much damage since we have mostly special investment, or you're running Focus Blast, which is a potential to miss. And uh, me and Josh are players that don't like to. Uh, you know, rely on those kind of moves to uh, win the game just because they're kind of ins inconsistent. We try to avoid it if we can. Yeah. Yes, we do. And do you want to lead us off into the next mod? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to completely go back on what I said because we're running Fissure Landers this week. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I mean, hey, guys. Um, what did we have? There's a, there's, there's, there's a good reason, all right? It was Sludge Bomb. And, like, we have Sludge Bomb to deal with Tapu Fini, and that, that should be, like, a good enough reason to, like, to run Sludge Bomb. The whole deal was that Sludge Bomb's doing, like, like 25-30% tops, Earth Power's doing close to that. So it's, like, Sludge Bomb's only doing minimal, like, damage compared to just clicking Earth Power. And if you're sitting against a Fini for two, three turns Sludge Bombing, it's likely taking you out with Muddy Waters before you, like, do all that. So I think having Fissure is just overall more beneficial uh it's also so that like they have fat things like the scrafty which we wouldn't be able to touch that hard with the landerus again so it's like just go for uh fissures against that kind of stuff the main thing we need landers here for is intimidate and if we get the fissure then it's kind of just like a bonus our earth power is there for heatran we can always uh smack down the uh, zapdos and then earth power that and then uh Special HP Ice is there for the uh, Zygarde, which should be able to 2 a KO a pretty bulky Zygarde with HP Ice, which means that that shouldn't be too much of a problem, even though uh, Darmanitan and Ninetales and a good portion of the team just don't like playing against the uh, Zygarde. So we should have that relatively covered. And then if we have free turns with Lander, it's just go for Fissure, just because that, and if we fall behind, uh, say something goes wrong, then we can always go for Fissure and try and get back into the game since. Uh, you know, it works. It's a two-way street. We can use it when we're ahead, use it when we're behind. It just depends on the situation. Uh, does the Smackdown work on uh, Bronzong as well? No, does it? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. So it works on Bronzong as well. That allows us to actually be able to hit the uh, 
bronze on if it does carry the uh, levitate ability, which we do expect because uh, I believe Tommy ran some calcs with uh, Darn, and uh, there's actually no reason why there's no reason why they should use uh, heat proof because it will just KO it anyway, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the next mon and by far my favorite mon this week is the Nine Tails. Guys, look at look how fire the Nine Tails set is. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what? But look, it is. Tommy, <laughs> it I don't is. know how to explain it, but it's fire. I don't know. It's Dick. We're using Dick Nine Tails. That's we, it. We you are. Guys, you guys probably <laughs> understand why we're using Dick Nine Tails, and you guys are probably like, "Why the hell are you using Dick Nine Tails?" But it's a reasonable idea, and Tommy has a better explanation than me, so I'll let them take it away. Yeah, so I'm actually just going to go into uh, Ninetales' of stats here. You'll see that the special attack and the attack stat on Ninetales actually aren't that far apart. It's 76 compared to 81. Of course, you usually uh, opt towards special just because Intimidate's a thing, but uh, Heat Rank, like can give the team like a pretty hard time if we don't have the right mods, and especially since we're not running a fighting move on Faramosa. So uh, the goal is that uh, if we can, we can uh, potentially catch the Heatran off guard, just go for a... Uh, tectonic rage into heatran just knocking out since uh even like 252 hp heatran will still drop to uh tectonic rage from nine tails uh so that should be a pretty good play uh we also have flare bolts on the nine tails which is doing very considerable damage i mean it's still 120 base power uh you know fire move in the sun with very similar attacks that to like talon flame it's only like five uh attacks that less than talon flame so uh just for like uh, comparison purposes it does hit pretty hard still especially since we have sun so uh it's pretty strong and then swagger is just great like we said before they have misty terrain we can always swagger our own darmanitan and then darmanitan has no damage shielding it just ko's everything so a lot of cool things <laughs> and last but not least the mon that you'll never see in the nbl but they were bring it one week nah, i don't think we we, we we were about to bring against um not scald and then we audible the last second to lion Noon, and that worked pretty well <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh yeah we got helio this game rocking the choice specs and the ability so power with thunderbolt hpi's focus blast volt switch uh you know basic 252 spread and there's not really much to say i mean all the moves that you see deal with their team especially well thunderbolt being able to hit the finny at uh, drift bloom uh, focus blast being, being able to hit tra heat trend hp ice being able to hit the uh what which we'll call it I forgot the name. zygarde zygarde and volt switching you know for pivot if we have to if need be and uh does hp ice ko and solar power no oh, yeah uh, it definitely should off the choice spec solar power yeah, yeah. so yeah here let's just primarily there for damage you know if we decide to bring it in team uh three real i mean we bring it and uh, the spread there's nothing wrong with it i think choice specs is pretty fine we could go something with like i believe blastoise here or something like that along the lines of that so you know we have a, a multiple like leads that we could go with but i think but i think we're like locked in into the ori choreo set up dancer cancer whatever you call it this week so hopefully it goes well i mean um i think the build went well i know tommy worked super hard on the spreads and you know shout out to tommy because if it wasn't for tommy i doubt that we would be like seven and one right now so big shout out to my uh, partner tommy for uh, all the help and uh you know we just want to win so hopefully we do take this win this week and if we do i think do we lock up I mean, we're already, we're already in playoffs. Uh, we have to win a few more to lock up the top two slot, but uh, win or loss, we're still in a really good position. But a win would get us that much closer since uh, we have a game ahead of most of the other teams behind us. Yeah. Uh, well, that's it for me. I don't know if Tommy has any closing words. Uh, not, not really. Uh, we have two more weeks after this. We have uh, Juice and Cyrobaz. And, uh, you know, we'll have two more team builders, two more battles after this. And then playoffs will be happening. So uh, I'm really looking forward to playoffs. Got to make sure we get that top two slot in these last two weeks. So still have a lot of uh, games to play in the regular season, too. A lot of important stuff to do. But uh, that's really it. Just going to try and win this week. I think we have a good plan, and I think we're in a pretty good spot. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the MBL, my partner Team Man's page, uh, Team Dream Ball with uh, Wolfie and Marcus's page. That will all be linked down in the description below. 
Um, and thank you guys for being, a, you know, very supportive of us. And I hope we take this one. Bye.